Things bourbon all week long. It's Bourbon Week. Presented by Buffalo Trace Distillery. <laughs> all right, it's day two of Bourbon Week, and today's featured distillery is Barrel House Distilling Company here in Lexington. They are celebrating a decade in the bourbon industry. They're a craft distillery, and that's truly what they're all about, crafting amazing small batches of bourbon, vodka, even moonshine. We stopped in to find out what it's all about. We've been down here a little over 10 years. We uh, celebrated our 10th anniversary, uh, I believe last July. So uh, we're coming up on 11 years now. And uh, as you mentioned, we started with a little 10 gallon still, moved up to our 150 gallon still, uh, started producing vodka. Nice. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of a kick. Added moonshine a year or so later, Devil John Moonshine. Yeah. Now that'll warm your insides up. Yeah, I feel I'm getting warm already. I'm going nuclear. Woo! Now we've got the bourbon. Tell we us do, about that. We do. We have a Rock Castle bourbon. Um, it's named for uh, actually the source of our water. We get uh, Appalachian Mountain spring water out of Rock Castle County, Kentucky. Now this is a small batch product. We get uh, typically four to five barrels per batch. That's good. Before uh, Barrel House, have you been in the distillery business? I mean, or was this first time working in this for you? Uh, first time working in this for me. I actually came from the the, the world uh, the world of the law, so to speak. Uh, got out you of. You were uh, in prison. <laughs> no worse. He was an attorney. Oh, no. We get to kind of see the process today. Oh, no, certainly. Okay. Please uh, come on back here. You can see it and uh, pitch in a little bit if you're feeling up for it. And so we basically have to break down those starch chains by both heat water and then a little bit of enzyme that the barley uh, the malted barley provides well now they can't sell any of this <laughs> okay before we uh get ready to distill it's game time yes. oh yeah i like it oh, wait. this cake is gonna be so good <laughs> you didn't call yourself master distiller why, why not why what's that, what does that mean uh when does one become master distiller well, uh, I mean, is there somebody that goes, you're qualified as a master distiller? I, I didn't know if there was like a, a, a governing body that says, okay, he's a master distiller. Uh, Some clown could call himself a master distiller, even though he probably isn't qualified. Uh, I'll comment on it. <laughs> there may be a clown out there calling himself a master distiller. You know, we just don't know. Last question. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and we gotta go. So this right here is some of our uh, Rock Castle bourbon mash. Uh, we just got it, uh, we just began the fermentation process yesterday. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, pretty nice and active. We like to stir it up, make sure we get kind of uh, nice, complete sugar coverage down there for the yeast to gobble up and convert it into that uh, nice ethanol. Well, now I got a new name for you. It's called Witch's Brew. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you. Go. I got a new name for when Lee stirs it. It's called <laughs> so you don't take advantage of the huge wheat fields we have here in Kentucky? Oh, the huge wheat fields we take, we take good advantage of. Yeah, yeah the barley, is, it's a little tougher to grow. Oh, well, barley is different than wheat. Is, yeah. what, is what you think? Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, won't, I won't get you started on the barley. And, uh... oh, what an idiot. <laughs> you know, it's great to see the big operations that are that are really thriving right now, but it's also really cool to see some of the little or newer guys that are getting into the into the business and experimenting with, you know, with different different parts of the bourbon production process. Yeah. So our process, as you can tell, is very traditional. Yeah. Not a lot of extra, you know, computers or GC, uh, you know, anything like so that. So you guys hand bottle every single we bottle? We hand bottle and yes. hand label every single bottle. Wow. I love that. Yeah, that's all we were doing. Oh, you nailed it. Go. Oh, beautiful. How about that? Is that not beautiful? So you don't go all the way, you leave a little on the top. Yeah. yeah. Leave a little bit, you know, a fraction of a fingernail. Oh, now this is perfect. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's awesome. I always wondered how they did I that. I know. I feel like I that should sign so it. That is so cool. I know, I want to sign it. They are so cool. And they're right there on Manchester in the distillery district. So there's so much other fun stuff to do around there and then cap it off with a tour at Barrel House. And they have a restaurant right there too. Yes, they do. And it was delicious. So. Barrel House Distilling offers tours and tastings. You can visit BarrelHouseDistillery.com. 
All right, we had a relaxing day at the distillery. Now let's talk about relaxation at Wild Health. That sounds good. They offer a variety of services treating you from the inside out. Coming up next, Lee's giving me a facial. I'm nervous. I'll be right back.